Yeah, what's up YouTube? Back again, another video today, and we're going to do a full editing process using, this is my workflow if I'm going to be using um, Portrait Pro, process from start to finish of a uh, model portrait and uh, the things I'd do. So I hope this helps some people, and uh, we'll just get straight into it. So, okay, we've got, um, we're going to be using this shot today, uh, shot on a Sony A7 Classic, the original one, and the Sony 50mm 1.8, and anybody who tells you you need more than um, <laughs> 24 megapixels or, you know, all the latest and greatest cameras to get the best shots, you can just see here, super sharp, great quality, it's, you know, if you don't need to, don't waste your money. Anyway, so we're just going to get some of the... Um, uh, the white balance etc set on this picture now I do want it a little bit cooler than usual and like I said in one of my other videos regarding this software it does work well when the face is lit quite brightly okay so we're gonna bring the shadows up as well just a little bit and we'll bring the exposure up just a tad more now I'm not so keen on the crop on this picture so we will get it to a format for Instagram which is 10 by 8 or 8 by 10 whichever way you want to do it and we'll try and get her at least one of her eyes in the there we go in one of the um points on the uh, rule of thirds crop all the lines we can see on the um screen now anyway so i'm gonna be we're gonna hit enter happy with that now I might do some more editing to the crop on this picture later on, but for now we will leave it as it is. We will just add a tad more sharpening to this. It doesn't need any re noise redu reduction, as we can see. I mean, just look. Perfect. Sony 1.8 lens. It's really cheap. Absolute bargain of a lens if anybody is just going over to Sony or want in a good portrait lens this is one to go for anyway right okay so we're happy with that we're going to export that image to desktop for now so it's just easy to find so don't forget guys if you find these videos helpful just give me a like subscribe and uh, just keep watching yeah helps my channel okay so we've got the picture there we're going to go straight into uh, portrait pro portrait pro even uh, like i said i only use the standard edition i don't need to be using it for raw or anything like that but um anyway just before we do no we'll do that in another video okay so we'll just let it do its magic now it's going to find the face it's obviously recognized her as a female still processing the face i'm sorry if it's a little bit slower than it should be because i am recording uh, the screen at the same time get the gist of what's going on and we'll try and get this portrait okay so we're going to review the before and after see how it's done on the um, points it's selected itself so we've got a few adjustments to make just around the uh, edge of the chin line as we can see here we're going to bring it back how it should be Now one of the new features of um, Portrait Pro 21 is the ability to change the sky, etc. Now that can be used not just for changing the sky, but for changing any background on your picture. We'll do that in another video, but for now we'll just do the portrait editing process. So it hasn't just, it's, it's got a real good job of her eyebrow, but we'll just get it a little bit more perfect to how it is on her. We'll leave this top side up just a little bit as well. And we'll bring it in. I mean, the AI in this software is really good. It's 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 the best program out there, to be fair. Um, I've got another video of trying a couple of the other ones that I knew, and it, there's nothing that can beat this, to be 
honest. Okay, so I'm quite happy with the way... I'm sorry I'm talking a little bit slower than I usually do because of um, trying to concentrate at the same time. Right, I will leave that as it is. Let's have a look. Okay. Right, so what we're going to do next is I like to turn everything back down to normal. Turn the skin smoothing off. Skin lighting off. Turn everything off. Let's start with the base. Um, don't let, in my opinion, don't let the, soft, uh, the software do things for you and then just click yes save and then you're happy. Try and take your time on this and use it more like somebody would in Photoshop. Right, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is a little bit of sculpting on the head. Now, you should ha always have in in your mind um, the final picture you want. I'll see it in your mind before, I'll, as you're editing. Um, but <laughs> let's have a look now. Come on, why is this not moving? There we go. We just want the razor eyes. Just, just a little bit, you know, just like I said before, small, small adjustments work best. Um, we're going to give it a little bit more plump on the lips. Now you see if we change the shape of the mouth, I mean we don't need to do anything like that. And like I said, I do use this in conjunction with um, Photoshop for doing other adjustments. So as you'll see in this process, we're going to go through everything. I might be quiet at some points while I'm uh, messing with this. I'm just showing you some of the things this will do at the same time, but some of them I'd never use, I to be fair. Um, right, so we don't need that one on. Um, we're going to give it a little bit more volume in the hair. Just a little bit, yeah. Okay, so if you look at her skin, she had fairly good skin to start, to start with, I should say. And she is not going to need much in this department find shadows i always add a bit more sharpen to the image as i'm doing this and to be fair i don't want a thin looking to a skin looking too plastic on this one so i will leave it there for now now the main one like i said that does the magic in my opinion on this software is the lighting controls this is one I use quite a lot. So like I said, if we start off with a quite well lit image, you know, nice and bright on the face, the um, the editing side in this software, the uh, process will look a lot better. Right, okay, so we'll go to the left cheek and just add a little bit of shadow there. Just a little bit darker on this side because it was shot from the left side pointing down. Now, if you see this kick thing, I, I, I don't know why they've got that in. in. It, it might work on some photos, but I haven't found a photo yet that it really does anything. I might just put a little bit of kick on this side. Now, we're just going to give a little bit more definition and eye attention by giving it the smoky eye look. You see the difference there? Yeah, it just puts that smokiness around the eyes that I do like in a lot of my photos. So we'll put that around about there. So we're going to leave that there for now. And I am going to go to the makeup. And again, things that make eyes stand out are eyelashes. So we are going to add eyelashes now I always leave it on the medium application. I will just show you what it does on the thick application. Medium, thick, here we go. There's thick. Oh no, sorry. Let's get it on the thick. There's a thick. I mean, some eyes pull it off. Her eyes will actually pull off a thicker look, so 
but on this occasion we will leave it on the thick and she's already got eyeshadow on we don't really need to mess with that but you can see you know it would enhance her eyes just a little bit so actually I will use it okay now our lips uh, well well defined and we'll just add a little bit more color round about not too pink no 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 we're just going to highlight them that pink just a tad more and, and as i said in one of my other videos it is always good to use the blusher now she has got blusher on this but just to add just a little bit more it will help lift this image for me again like i said it's mostly in small increments do first until you are happy i hope i'm not babbling too much now i never use a bronzer i just don't like what it does to faces to be fair um, some people might like this look but she can i mean if you look at her hand compared to the face a bronzer will spoil the look of her to be fair now again the eyeliner pens i don't use any of them to be fair i try and keep that to her original uh, we'll just go back up to the um makeup area and we're going to quickly go to let me find it let me find it eyeliner so we're going to just add again i want the eyes to be popping on this so we're going to add a little bit of eyeliner to the top but the main one on this one will be the lower can you see the difference there we'll just zoom in a bit more and then we'll add it lightly lower liner can we see yeah both eyes have been brought up nicely so we'll probably add that around the always best to zoom out again I would say the 50% um, is a little, well, 62 is just a tad too much, so we'll bring it down to around about 39 for the eyes. Okay, we'll whiz down to the eye area, uh, the eye module, sorry, I should say. Right, so we've got <laughs> clean eyes. Some, again, uh, it does depend on the model and the um, eyes you're working on but sometimes it doesn't seem to do a good job on eyes and then on other ones it will do a good job so on these two we'll leave them around the 37 percent mark we don't want to darken the pupil because we do like that little catch light in an eye we will give a little bit of sharpen to the eyes around the 50 percent mark and a little bit more pop on the eyebrows just again just slightly around the 20% mark and we will brighten the irises up just a tab again people go too far and they look stupid so again it's small small adjustments that work the best in my opinion again you might have your own way of doing this but I'm just giving you the way I do things okay um, so So we're gonna right so i'm happy with the makeover she's had so far i'm just gonna go back down to uh, go back up to the the uh, lighting and pull the picture back out to its original size of just about and then we'll have a look at this shadow uh, i just want a little bit more on the left shadow she was being shot from this side so we will bring the lighting just over the eye area like so and the left kick I just want it just a little bit darker but we can still see the eye popping in there again we've got the smoky eyes going on I'm going to add just a bit more to the smoky eyes and we're going to get a bit of a pout going on underneath the lip area it darkens the lips and just gives it that nice 
finish and we're going to sculpt her nose can we see the difference there yep we're going to get the sculpting up to the 55 mark okay for now i'm happy with that so we're going to export it and we're just going to finish off in lightroom eh, sorry not lightroom in photoshop a couple more adjustments and i will be more than happy don't forget guys these videos help anyone or they like you like what i do please give me a like give, please give me a sub and um, i will keep doing them basically okay so we're going to open in photoshop keep it on the same crop as before um, just click yes. okay um, we're going to go to liquify just for one one or two adjustments i want to do so i'm just going to bring her chin up just a tad just to take the on this side of her face it out just a tad again all these things are personal preference this is the way I do my editing it might not be to everyone's liking maybe to there, there we go around that mark I'd be quite happy with and um, basically that is all I would do with that photo anyway tick Like results you might not like the results but either way that's how i would do things for this photo okay don't forget like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one